हेलो वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल आई एम रूपाली शाह अ ब्लॉकचेन डेवलपर एंड योर इंस्ट्रक्टर एट न्यूटन स्कूल इट्स एन लेक्चर ट्वेल्व ऑफ हेलो सॉलिडिटी सीरीज एंड टुडे वी आर गोन आर डिस्कस अबाउट पेएबल फंक्शंस सो पेएबल फंक्शंस आर बेसिकली द फंक्शंस दैट विल हेल्प यू टू एक्सेप्ट सम ईथर्स फ्रॉम योर वॉलेट so we will be looking into this like uh, how it is possible in real time using a remix id but before moving to uh, remix i would like you to introduce with uh, newton school it's an edtech company a platform where you can learn about uh, uh, web development and become a full stack developer in no time uh, without paying, paying any fees for your courses in the beginning once you land a job from a uh, fi- uh, like job or pl- get a placement then only you need to pay for your fees now the best part is that we also guarantee you a placement from 5 lakhs to 40 lakhs so uh, please check out the link in the description because from there you will be landing our website and we are launching our new course uh, of uh, full stack development so don't forget to just uh, click on the link uh, in the description now uh, let's move to remix and let's find out that uh, what are payable functions so as i told you that payable functions will help you to uh, create or you can say like uh, help you to accept some ethos now we will be looking like uh, uh, what if my function is not payable and i am passing some values and what if my function is payable so let's create an function first and this function will be a pay function so and uh, it's an public because we want this function to be publicly available that could be called by anyone in the uh, like outside the scope of this smart contract also and uh, let's say that um, we will be having that uh, message dot value like with the help of message dot value you can have that particular uh, amount so what i am going to do is uh, we will be having u int and we will be having a variable which will be a public variable and this will be amount and we will be making this uh, amt is equals to msg dot um, send off yeah this will be cool so now let's compile it and uh, we got an error because our compiler must be a uh, wrong selected so let's select 0.8 and compile it again so yeah it's compiling for us and we get an error message dot sender and now here you could see that type address is not implicitly converted to expected okay message dot sender not a uh, message dot sender returns you the address but we want to store the value so we will be using message dot value now and uh, can only be used in payable public functions make the function payable or use an internal functions to avoid this error so it uh, the error arised when we are not having this function payable and this is because we are going to access this uh, uh message dot value like we want to access the value of a particular address which it it uh, sends with the uh, our particular uh, contract function and so we were not allowed to uh, execute this function or compile this function now let's create this function payable and then compile it again once the function of our particular uh this uh, is compiled you could see a green tick now go to the deploy tab and just uh, deploy the function uh, the way we used to deploy every function and go to the pay function and this pay function need some values to be passed so let's say i want to pass 10 ethos so let's pass this value with 10 ethos and let's just call the pay function it executed successfully and when you will be checking the amount you could see this in v now the important part is that where this value goes uh, where my 10 ethos got transferred because you could see that some amount of my money got detected from my account so this money basically 
get uh, uh, like uh, deposited or you could say that uh, uh, transferred to the address of this particular contract now you can find out that uh, okay your money basically uh, went where using few lines of code so what i am gonna do is uh, with the help of this dot address you can access the value of this particular like uh, with the help of this dot address you can access the address of this particular contract and uh, yeah we will be having the balance so um i guess uh, with the uh, okay uh, let's say that uh, we just want um this dot uh, address um okay so yeah let's just transfer this uh, uh, from this dot address uh, 10 ethos to some other address so let's create one more function and this function will be a uh, dep function because this function is gonna deduct some money and let's make it a public function now let's say that uh, we are gonna like a message dot uh, sender no no uh here this will be a uh, two function so let's say that we have an address and two type and this is equal to let's just uh, select some other address and yeah let's just uh, save that address over here so i guess it should work and we want to transfer transfer two dot transfer and this is from this dot address i guess syntax is correct but we could like look into it uh so now we have a blunt over here let's see what's that thing not found or not visible after argument so uh this will be not this dot address instead we will be having the amount that we want to transfer so let's just paste uh, this which is equivalent to 10 ethos so it's in way basically so yeah now let's just save again or uh, like compile and let's just uh, deploy our contract again and after deployment we will be uh, first of all sending 10 ethos to our smart contract ethos to our smart contract let's just call the pay function and let's just check so yeah we were uh, about to like uh, half 10 ethos on our contract now we will be using this uh, debt function and this will transfer 10 ethos from my smart contract to this particular address which is basically the second uh, account of our uh, uh, like uh, ring b accounts which we are provided you can see that we receive 10 ethos over here so that's it for uh, today uh, we enjoyed like uh, knowing about this payable function like how you can add some uh, ethos to your uh, smart contract and then also we saw that how you can send uh, some ethos from your smart contract to some other uh, account so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe this channel if you learn something new out of it and like this video and turn on the notifications to get all the updates of our upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.